Hey Aquarius, welcome back to the channel guys. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and get your energy for today. We're going to see what is the overall energy for today, what's coming towards you, and the outcome. Guys, please keep in mind that these readings are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it, and there is no gender in tarot. Reverse the roles as need be. Cross watchers, you are always welcome. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and see what is this overall energy for you? What is going on with you for today, Aquarius? You got the Four of Wands. Wow. A cycle that is still opened is going through a transformation, okay? Something has changed here, and it's about to be presented to you. And I got to be honest with you, it's a Four of Wands energy. This is going to be your happily ever after here. Seven of Cups. Options, decisions. Six of Swords moving towards calmer waters. What else, universe? Final energies here. Eight of Swords, okay? So if something was causing you conflict, for some of you guys, you have not been communicating with someone here. Okay, Eight of Wands energy, Aquarius. Then you got the Eight of Swords, okay? This has been keeping you stuck in your head. But look it. It's about to change. It is about to change with the Tree of Life and the Three of Pentacles and the Palace of Wands. Wow, someone's about to let their guard down. So if you have been in separation with someone from your past, someone who you love, someone who you were looking at marriage and commitment and stability with, someone here has gone through a total transformation. This cycle, universe is wanting to tell you, Aquarius, it is not done. It is not done. It is far from being done, guys. I'm not going to lie. Okay? You got the Seven of Cups energy here with the Six of Swords, meaning someone is coming towards you with options. Okay? They're bringing you choices. Um, you have to make a decision. And for some of you guys, it's going to be whether or not you want to allow this person back into your life and have communications with them once again, or would you move with them towards calmer waters or move with them? I just heard move with them. Okay? Two of Wands. There's a chance here for you and this person to finally remove any and all blockages that have been holding you and them back. Okay? What else, universe? King of Pentacles. Someone is stepping up to the plate, guys. Queen of Pentacles. Holy shit, Aquarius. Really? You're talking about a divinely guided couple. You may even be with an earth sign here. But there is some stability that's going to be presented for you guys. Look it. You may be dealing with a fire sign who could be very well a, a stubborn individual. But I do feel that this person... Is coming towards you with stability, with a big offer here. They want you back. They want you back in their life. You're the person that they should have married from the get-go. You should have been always there with them for everything, okay? You got the Queen of Swords energy here. So someone's... Oh, I got two of them. I didn't even realize. And the Ace of Swords. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I feel that this person is coming in to explain themselves. Why they stopped moving towards you. Why did they end this new beginning with you? This is... This is um. Either you guys are still young... Or this is a rather fresh energy. But the fact is that this person's coming in here with this Queen of Swords energy because they want to explain why they took away that beautiful new beginning. Where I feel you and this person were very truthful to each other, very open. You spoke about everything. Someone here is ready to bring justice to the situation for you or with you. What is this overall energy here, universe? They want to come in from out of the cold, okay? Eight of Cups energy, they're preparing their way back towards you. They hope and pray that you're not guarded, that you do communicate with them. That you do give them an opportunity here to kind of make look at the Wheel of Fortune. Give them a second chance so they can prove to you that they have changed, that they're no longer the same person. With the High Priestess in the reverse, I'm not going to lie, Aquarius. Being one of the signs that is always stuck in their head, you may choose to take your time whether or not you want to entertain this relationship again. For some of you guys, you're still going to be looking at this person sideways because to you it's like, no, you got to prove to me that you changed. You got to prove to me that you're no longer the same person, that you're no longer... Um, running around acting a fool like you this person has to prove to you that they're not going to bring you any unnecessary burdens that you don't have to be worried about what they're up to what is the outcome here universe what is the outcome between aquarius and this person the six of swords so before you decide to move in with this person or move forward with this person i just feel that they have to come in and they have to prove to you without a reasonable doubt okay they have to prove to you that they're in this balanced energy already, that they're ready for this Four of Wands energy, that they're ready for this commitment, that they're no longer toxic. And in order for them to achieve this Six of Cups energy with you, 
they have to go from being this king of swords possibly in the reverse to being this king of swords in the upright okay that means they're going to have to prove themselves to you so whomever it is that's getting ready to come back towards you aquarius i do got to be honest with you they're gonna fight for this because they they miss you they love you they want to be with you they don't want to be alone without you this is very unexpected forward movement but the fact that this person can't live without you they're missing you they miss the, the spot that you laid in on their chest or in the bed or whatever it is. But this person just misses you and misses your energy. Six of Pentacles, why? Because they want to get things balanced out with you again. They want you to come back home, I just heard. But this Emperor in the Reverse is going to have to prove to you within time that you can trust them again. They're going to have to prove to you that you can trust them again before you give them or allow or even accept this wish fulfillment. Okay. For some of you guys, it's already a wish fulfillment because they want to prove it to you. And for others of you guys, you're not going to fill your head with any type of illusions until this person can really present that they're this king of cups energy here. And they're here to love you. And they're here to bring this wish fulfillment. And they're here for longevity, not for a temporary energy. All right, guys. I hope and pray that this gave you some clarity for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if you're interested in a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.